teacher child about safe circle it is a vital activity here hello parents welcome back to eduma i am srishti an early childhood educator a safe circle is something that consists of people who you and your child can trust on and your child feel comfortable with so it's really important to make a safe circle with your child in which there will be people who your child trust and feel comfortable also it's important to involve your child while making that safe circle because there can be moments where you trust and are comfortable with a person but your child doesn't feel comfortable around that person and doesn't trust that person on that certain level where you can trust that person on that level but your child doesn't feel comfortable in trusting them so here it's important to involve your child to create that safe circle because that safe circle is for them only the safe circle can include grandparents teachers siblings or any neighbor if your child feel comfortable and they can trust on them also your child must be familiar with these faces and these names you can get that printed or even make a chart out of it you can create a page or simply write them down on a piece of paper where your child can write the names themselves and also paste the pictures parents it's important for your children to know who that person is if you call that person with a certain name and your child doesn't know that names it will be confusing for them so it's important an important tip where you should write a particular name that your child is comfortable with and also paste a picture so that your child is recognizing that this person is this person and this has a particular name also teach your child that this is a safe circle and these people are the person that you can trust and completely feel comfortable around also it's important for your child to recognize them and also feel comfortable in sharing their thoughts and feelings with them now parents here's an important tip for you if still your child doesn't feel comfortable about a person in your safe circle in their safe circle so it's important for you to make them believe that you completely trust them make them believe that mama papa always loves you mama papa always trust you and they will always be on your side no matter what happens and if they feel that that person is not making them feel safe you should completely remove them from their safe circle here they this will increase the security in the relationship with your child and your child will believe that my parents my mama papa are always with me and they will always stand by my side now coming to teach your children about good touches and bad touches here it can be a tough topic for you to share it with your child but it's completely important to teach your child from the very beginning from the very start about these good touches and bad touches because it will help them safeguard from these child sexual abuses remember parents don't be hesitant or shy in speaking these things with your child because if you will not who will tell them about these things you are the first person they can rely on they can trust on and be comfortable and share their thoughts and feelings with you so you are the first person who should tell them about good touches and bad touches also don't use complicated languages with them it's really important here to use a simple language for example while you are teaching them about good touch just completely tell them when you feel loved and when you feel cared and when you feel that warmth and love with that hug or that touch it's completely a good touch but whenever you feel scared or afraid and whenever you feel uncomfortable when someone is touching you that is a bad touch just use simple language you can also even use your mother tongue while explaining them about these good touch and bad touch it's important for your child to grasp that thing in their brain and completely remember it for their lifetime so never use complicated languages 
just use simple words and simple languages while teaching them this if you will use complicated language with them they will just get more confused they will not be able to understand what you are trying to tell them so just use simple words now while teaching your child about good touch and bad touch it's important to teach them about different body parts start explaining them about the different par parts of the human body and how they function then come towards the private organs and tell them what function they perform also explain them that it is not okay to disclose our private organs to anybody here two important points that you should teach your child is we should never let anybody see or touch our private parts second private parts include penis breast and vagina now you should also tell them that the spaces near their private organs are also private nobody can touch or see it parents doesn't matter if your child is a girl or a boy it's really important for both the genders to teach them about child sexual abuses good touch and bad touch also parents when you are teaching your child about good touch and bad touch you should keep in mind that also in the future they also don't do a bad touch to anyone if you have a boy if you have a girl explain them about the different genders and how these different genders have a different private organs and private spaces where nobody should touch them it's really important for both the genders to know about the different organs and how they should prevent themselves from getting that bad touch now parents here's an activity for you to teach your child about good touch and bad touch here you can also bring your child and watch this video with them parents you must have got these worksheets along with the course in the form of a pdf you can get it printed and this sheet will look like this this is for your girl child now this sheet is for your boy child now you must have also got a sheet like this here these are certain stickers that you can cut out easily and help your child learn about good touches and bad touches the red one shows that it is a bad touch the yellow one shows that it is a touch that they may not like and the green one shows that it is a good touch here it represents a traffic light as well where the red one suggests that you should stop here the yellow one suggests that you can be ready or safe or feel comfortable and the green one completely suggests that it's completely okay for somebody to touch you now let's first begin with the girl sheet now what are the places where anybody can touch you and you feel that it is a good touch when somebody holds your hand that can be a good touch when somebody pats on your head that can be a good touch but parents here you should also ask your child if they still feel comfortable somebody holding their hand or patting them on the head now here are certain places that your child might or might not like now here it's your duty parents to teach your child that what the what are the places they feel is a good touch and what are the places they feel is a bad touch now here are the places they might feel that can be a good touch or a bad touch such as elbow now the second place can be their feet now parents a bad touch is always the private organs it's important for you to teach them now the first private organ is vagina now teach your child that it is not okay for anybody to touch them here second second is breast teach your child that it is not completely okay to disclose it 
or even let anybody touch it third third is hips teach your child that it is a bad touch nobody is allowed to touch them there now parents you can ask your child if there are some more places that they feel is a good touch or a bad touch to them or they might feel comfortable if somebody touches them there now parents let's come towards teaching bad touch and good touch towards a boys now here can be certain places that your child might feel that is a good touch it can be hands someone shaking their hands can be a good touch but it's really important for you to ask your child if they feel comfortable second if somebody is giving them a pat on their head it can be a good touch but it's completely normal for them to say that they are not liking it here you should trust your child and ask them if they feel comfortable with someone touching them there now here are certain places that your child might feel that they might like and they might feel that it it is a good touch their feet or somebody touching their elbow your child might feel that it is a good touch but ask your child if they feel that it is a good touch or not or they feel comfortable when someone is touching them there now parents it's important to teach your children about what is a bad touch parents somebody touching their breast is a bad touch it's not okay for anybody to touch them on their chest now for boys the private organ is penis nobody is allowed to see or touch them without their permission now hips is also a private part now parents it's also important to teach your children that the private spaces near these private organs are also private and also they might feel it can be a bad touch so let's meet in the next video where we will discuss about these things in more detail bye